morning. Because I don't know if you heard. I know you heard, Mr. I Love Apollo 13. It's my favorite movie to I watch do. over it's and over. I love a great movie. I highly suggest it. But an asteroid came very close to Earth oh. yesterday. Oh! Okay. Good morning. You good know why morning. it's good morning? <laughs> We're alive. Earth is still Earth. Okay, now Earth has issues. You're alive, you're alive, the, Earth is alive. The physical planet Earth is good. Woo! Let's go! Give it up for Earth! Earth, 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 Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. But boy, is this concerning. Oh! All right, so the story, goes like, the story goes like this, and I thought we were going to get to this yesterday. Okay. But it's, in hindsight, I think it's a good thing. I'm glad you did it. Because we didn't want to freak people out unnecessarily. No, I don't like that. Because I get freaked out quick. So do I. That's my thing. An asteroid the size of a delivery truck Pretty big. whizzed by us last night about 3,600 kilometers above the southern tip of South America. So this happened uh, right around 7.30 Eastern last night. The, the asteroid is 11 feet by 28 feet. Pretty big. And now the 3,600 kilometers from the Earth's surface, that's 10 times closer than most satellites, okay? <laughs> So this thing got in the danger zone, That's so That's pretty speak. close, Sid. So, but the good thing is they, they knew this asteroid was coming nine months ago, and they were prepared for it. Just kidding. They found it last Saturday. <laughs> okay? Wait a minute. They found it, because in the movies, what happens? Somebody huh. at an observatory somewhere in the middle of nowhere sees it, writes on a piece of paper, gets in their car, and runs to the city. That's right. This thing was found a week ago... And on top of that, it was an amateur astron astronomer, excuse me, who's in Crimea. Yes. Now, you don't need me to tell you, there are things going on in that part of the world that are pretty important too, right? Yes. Now. So this amateur astronomer, not professional, not Hall of Fame level, amateur sky looker, the amateur found this sky thing looker. a week ago. And on top of it, we were told, by the way, if it happened to hit Earth or come to our atmosphere, it would burn up due to the friction, because it's not that big. Thank goodness. Does that make you feel Thank any better, goodness. though? No, I need to know that with all of those satellites up there, that they're certainly, forget uh, Anakin Skywalker, amateur Skylooker, he needs a movie after him. Because <laughs> when, you talk, when you talk Star Wars, this is what I'm talking about. We need to have our eyes all over the place. That's the point of this technology. So we burn it up, or we figure, what will we do anyway? Go shoot at it? Is that the plan? If something's big, do you shoot at it, the asteroid? In my mind, this is what we do. We send Ben Affleck. We, we tell, we tell uh, Bezos or Elon Musk, look. Send the rocket. Enough of the joy rides. Yes. We need this for cargo. Yes. It's gonna take care of business. That's right. Okay? That's right. We send up whatever we need to send up to meet Johnny Asteroid head on and say, no mas. You're not coming down here. The rocket buddy. is the bullet into the asteroid. Yes. And I don't know anything about science, but I'm pretty sure that's how you can do it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But again, I want to know. That's too close, because you know what? Okay, every other day, there's the thing like the clickbait. Asteroid dangerously close to planet, coming soon. And then it's like, no, it's not dangerously close. It's like five universes away. Whatever the math is, how they talk about it. Five galaxies away. That's not close. That was close. That was close. closer than the satellites. That's and close. it took that guy in Crimea. We, we have to get that guy's name because that guy's incredible. He was on it when no one else was. Good guy looker. Now, I'm not, listen, I'm not mad at anyone. Asteroids are going to come to a planet. It happens. It yeah. happens all the time. You never yeah. hear about it. But I want to know to the dinosaurs. people in that community whose job it is to look up in the sky. 24-7. What are you, like, like, are you, like, watching the Big Dipper? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. These, we, we Are they watching that you. Mom Manor show that we talked about yesterday? <laughs> what watching, are, are they watching? Watching Mom, watching Mom are Manor. Are they watching the Mom Manor show? Look. Don't the, watch the Mom Manor show. No. The, but, but, listen, at the end of the day, Earth's okay, physically. Woo! Earth's, Earth's got okay. a lot of other issues. We got to work on issues here that we created. Yes. That's another story for another day. Yes. Good Friday morning. We are here to drink some coffee. Yes. And thank you, Jesus, and for maybe that. maybe spill a little tea.